I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, Erlanger is firing four top leaders at its community health centers. The centers at the South Side and Dotson Avenue serve uninsured Chattanoogans. CEO Kevin Spiegel says there were issues with patient satisfaction. The centers have also lost more than $2 million in the last year. Erlanger plans to dissolve the center's board. Spiegel says health care at the centers will not be interrupted. A deputy sheriff shot and killed a dog in Dogtown, Alabama. The DeKalb County Sheriff's Office says the deputy was alone serving a warrant when two dogs began running at him. The second dog was injured. The Sheriff's Office says it was self-defense and the deputy has not been placed on leave. A new study ranks the 10 most redneck cities in Georgia. LJ ranks first on the list compiled by Road Snacks. Adairsville came in fourth, Chickamauga ranked ninth, and Dalton placed 12th. Among other factors, the study looked at the number of Walmarts, gun shops, and tobacco stores per capita. A Bradley County woman is charged with giving false testimony in court. 30-year-old Nicole Rachel Walker was taken straight from the courtroom to the county jail. Authorities say she made statements that contradicted what she told a detective in a July aggravated assault case. Her bond has been set at $10,000. The CEO of Life Care Centers of America is now personally named in a False Claims Act lawsuit by the federal government. Prosecutors have added a count of unjust enrichment against Cleveland billionaire Forrest Preston. The government claims he benefited from the alleged overbilling of Medicare at life care centers across the country. It claims life care frequently ignored the recommendations of its own therapists and unnecessarily delayed discharging patients. Now, prosecutors say they found information that shows Preston was aware of complaints about the issue. LifeCare says it's puzzling the government would seek to include Preston in the case. A Dayton man has been sentenced to 27 years in a federal child porn case. 29-year-old Jonathan Eugene Loper pleaded guilty to trading child porn with a person in Canada and to posting it online for others to download. Loper was previously convicted of attempted sexual battery of a child in 2006. East Brainerd Elementary School opens for the first time today. 870 students will attend, and the school has capacity for 1,100. The mega school is expected to alleviate overcrowding at other schools. Finally, Chattanooga police are using a new smartphone app to communicate with residents about crime in their own neighborhood. The app, called Nextdoor, will also let neighbors privately message police. The service is free to download and use. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 89 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 67. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news at timesrepress.com.